In the last lesson, we actually fit a mixture of two Gaussian or normal distributions. Here are the real gender labels of each observation and also the areas depicted by the ellipses which represent where the most probable zones are to find each subpopulation according to the fitting. Since mixture models are based on probability distributions, in this lesson we'll start by studying one of the most famous, the Gaussian, before diving back into the structure of a mixture model in chapter 2. It is worth saying that this lesson is not an exhaustive cover of the Gaussian distribution, but rather a reference for the mixture models. First though, let's comment on the packages to fit mixture models in R. Currently, there are many packages on Crank that can fit mixture models. The most popular ones are MixTools, which is a great library, but the Poisson distribution is not implemented so far and will need it later in the course. BaseMix uses Bayesian inference, which is outside of the scope of this course. EM Cluster is really easy to implement, but only works with Gaussian distributions. FlexMix is the one you will learn because not only have plenty of probability distributions being implemented, but it also gives you the possibility of going deeper with mixture models if you choose. Gaussian distributions are characterized by two measures, the mean and the standard deviation. The mean represents the central point where the values tend to fall. And the standard deviation is the measure that determines the degree to which the values differ from the mean. A low standard deviation indicates that the values tend to be close to the mean, while a high standard deviation indicates that the values are spread out. The range formed by four standard deviations centered on the mean covers approximately 99% of the probable values. To understand mixture models, we can start simulating the random variables involved to picture what we'll try to model. We begin by sampling from a univariate Gaussian distribution using the function rnorm. This function takes the number of samples we want, the mean and the SD, which refers to the standard deviation. In this example, we generate 100 values from a Gaussian distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 5. Using the function head, we can see the first six values from our sample. Usually, when we collect data, we don't know the mean and the standard deviation in advance, so we need to estimate these parameters. To estimate the mean, we simply take the sample mean of the observations. For this data, the mean estimation gives us 10.36, very close to the real value of 10. To estimate the standard deviation, we start by subtracting the estimated mean to each observation, then we square these quantities and take the mean. Finally, we square root this quantity. Here, I show you how to calculate the standard deviation manually, but for the purpose of this course, we can just use the SD function. Observe that the estimated standard deviation is quite similar to the real value of 5. To create a histogram in R, we use the function geom histogram, specifying y-axis equals density to scale it into frequencies. Observe, we put the aesthetic inside geom histogram. We also add the estimated curve using a stat function, specifying that the geometry is a line the function is the density of the Gaussian and the arguments correspond to the estimated mean and a standard deviation. See how the estimated distribution fits quite nice to the observations. Now, let's try some examples.